Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. All right, if you haven't heard the news already, and you know you can see from the goddamn title, Multiverse Season Three has been delayed. As you can see from the tweet right here, we hear you, MP, uh, MVPs, to help you reach the end of the um, current battle pass. Players get a battle pass XP boost, um, items, and plus Season Two is being sent into the 31st. Now, as you can see, when I first saw this, you know, tweet, you know, I was heartbroken. I'm like, damn, you know, damn, the 31st. That's that's like 50 plus days, bro. Like I was so hyped within what I think it was less than a week until we were gonna get season three. So I was like, damn, this this is terrible. And then you know, it's kinda just been fifty fifty where it's like hate and love for this. Like for example, we have here right here saying that um, you know, it could have just been incentive for this rest of the month, um, instead of next month, but all love support for me though. You have another person's just being, you know, positive saying, damn, um, you know, if I understand your decision, if it's gonna make, you know, the netco better to rank and content, you know, for season three better but you know if it doesn't then it's really sad and you have people hating and getting mad and then you have my boy streamline you know still being positive i trust you dog do your thing i know there's a lot of people hating on your game but i won't bash it as long as i live prove the haters wrong and like i said it's back and forth you know love hate love hate going going down all these replies and i'm not gonna lie when i first saw it i was heartbroken i was i was devastated i'm just like damn because you know when i came from you know grew up from gaming when you think of new season you know like call of duty cod and all that stuff you think content you think more stuff to do you more 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 things that's going to be added to the game so that's how i thought of it at first and you know i continue to make this tweet like i don't know how i feel about it being pushed to the march 31st you know if it was a february 28th i could understand for the delay but now i'm expecting a lot because now i'm expecting a lot it's 50 plus days i'm expecting a lot but you know and then i was like in multiverses we trust but then after thinking you know a little bit longer and actually calming down from you know that, that news, I come to realize that we just have to trust into the process um, of multiverses. It is painful, but you already know. I only speak facts. I, I don't bullshit. I don't do all that hee hee ha ha. I joke around, but when I when I, when I I talk about this game, it's always like the truth. I, w I would never stray anybody in the wrong direction. And there's either two things that they could do. Is one, they could go into the path of we're getting you know content throughout season two still because guess what now it's extended so they can add more content in season two and then you know season three happens then they have their content for that or they could be a little dry for the next you know few weeks sadly but then season three we can expect a lot and i'm hoping to expect a lot either or whichever way they go with but i will say even which way they go with you know i'm still sad about the whole delay but i think we all can agree that we at least need a roadmap and i don't even mean like a roadmap saying oh this is coming out at this exact date this exact date i literally think we just need something that we like yo this and this and this is planned within season two season three or for, for the year matter of fact yeah let's just say for the year within this year this is what we feel like or this is what we want to be in the game by that time you know and i think that would open a lot of people's eyes on a lot of things because I think a lot of people do forget, and I know people hate doing or uh, hate hearing this. I know people hate um, seeing, uh, don't like to use this as an excuse, but it literally is an excuse. It's the truth. This is a beta. You and I and everyone else that plays this game are beta testers, and I know people hate to hear that. It's been eight months, bro. It's been this and that. There's no no more excuses, bro. No more excuses. Bro, the game is in beta. What do you mean there's no excuses? Have you seen these other games in beta? Have you seen all these other old games that, you know, went through their development and stuff? It is not going to be peak when it first dropped. This, the only reason why this game peaked is because of its IPs. If this if this game did not have the IPs that it had, one, it probably wouldn't even be, you know, what, what it's, the direction it's going into. But two, it wouldn't have went crazy in those numbers. I'll give you an example. Brahalla. Bro. Do y'all even remember how Brawlhalla was at the beginning? Do y'all even know what the playtest were is back then in the beginning? Bro, it don't even compare to what Multiverse is at least right now and what at least trying to build. And look at Brawlhalla now. One of the biggest platform fighters. I would say the biggest platform fighter in the world right now because prize pools, players, and all that stuff. But I know some people might say Smash because of the offline events and stuff. But like, you know, their online is bad, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, like, bro, this game isn't going anywhere. No matter how much people push on, it's gonna die, it's dead, and this and the third. I promise you, this game ain't going anywhere. And I'm gonna just hit y'all with quick facts right now, and then I'm gonna give y'all a quote at the end, and y'all can decide. So one, right, we're gonna have the people that they've been hiring, you know? Because if this game was dying, if this game had no funds, 
why are they still hiring more people into the game? Why are they still hiring um, people to help out the team? For example, Justin, if you don't know Justin, Justin was um, is an MTO um, member and now he's working on the esports, the community, and the operations. Why would they hire him if they have no money, they have no funds, or anything? Why would he accept a job if, if you know, it's not, you know, going in the right direction, the game is going to die? Number two, Ajax, official caster, and my boy um, Osti, official casters. Why would they accept this job and continue and push it? Ajax, um, Osti, running their own lands. Why would they do that if they, if they know the game is just going to flop? Like, use your heads. This man does amazing um, Brahala casting. He did a few things in Smash. If that's the case, why don't he just stick to that? Again, he runs a land with um, Chavo. Chavo um, him and Chavo run a land for Multiverse, and they do Smash. Their Smash, I'm pretty sure, still has more contestants than their uh, Multiverses. Why continue Multiverses? Why not start Brahala? Why not start getting more Brahala people there and Smash and call it a day? Because they, cause they trust, they believe. Again, Chavo, a man just got this job two days ago of being a Multiverses game analyst. Why would they hire him? Why would they hire him? The game's dead, right? The, the game has no funding. Why would they just hire him? Guys, trust in the process i'm gonna hit y'all with this quote i know a lot of people are gonna try to troll about it and say i'm joking or i'm just you know being an idiot i'm being so serious when i say this because i said this on my stream i've been saying this to a couple people on locals and i, I want to say i think every one of them believe exactly what i said and here's a quote the players right now don't matter me you all of us we don't matter as the players right now and i don't mean it in like what we say and what we want to do for the game doesn't matter. No, I just mean that down the line, whenever the game is fully developed, because again, it is not where they want it to be exactly right now. Bro, have you noticed that their marketing hasn't been anything crazy besides the one big trailer to show off the game? They don't market their game because it is not ready. This is for playtesting. This is to get people feedback, to get people that really enjoy the game's feedback to improve the game. We do not matter. Everyone that wants to cry and moan and ah ha ha and want to quit, go right ahead. Because guess what? When the game is ready, when the game is officially out of open beta, that is when those players will matter. So you can either be a longtime player and help develop the game and help it grow, or you could cry, quit, and come back in the future, or you could be quiet, quit, come back in the future, or you could watch the success of this game go down the line in the future. That is up to you. But yeah you you don't matter we don't matter right now and i'm gonna elaborate on that a little bit better because obviously people you know again it's gonna take this as a joke most likely but i'm starting like a quick little series like a two three minute video because you know i'm not gonna lie some of y'all attention spans is a little a little short so you know we're gonna you know divide the videos up properly so y'all could you know i'm sinking all that um information that i'm gonna be going on it's gonna be like a three four part type of video Two, three minute long most likely but before i end this video i just want to give y'all a quick example of what i mean like for example is fortnite fortnite you know had ninja tifu cloaks you know all of them and when they slowly quit everyone thought the game was gonna die you know they're like oh my god these big content creators these big um competitive players are leaving their game this is the end of fortnite but you know what happened new talent walked right through those doors and took their spot clicks Uga. NG Fishy, Mongrel, all of them just took their spots and like nothing happened. And the game is still thriving till this day. But yeah, um, leave some comments down below. I would love to hear your opinions on that quote and also how y'all feel about season three being delayed. Cause I ain't gonna lie, even though I said all this, I am still kind of sad about it. And if you like the video, leave a like. And it's the first time you're watching my videos, guys, you already know. Hit the subscribe button, guys. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole other state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side. She a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find.